I often say that I'm a photographer with a hobby, which is photography. Photographer Elliot Erwitt was known for his humor, both personally and photographically. His images always found the lighter side of life while remaining poignant. He was best known for his portraits of dogs. If you've seen a humorous black and white photo of a dog, Erwitt is likely the one behind the lens. When he was asked, why dogs? He said, these are easy subjects and I love them. To attract their attention, I bark. In fact, dogs are people with more hair and they are more direct. Even in photographing some of the most famous names of the mid 20th century, Erwitt never took himself too seriously. A reporter for Le Monde asked, how did you train yourself in photography? He responded, I read the instructions on the box. Elliot Erwitt was drafted into the army in 1951 where he worked as a photographer's assistant. He received basic training in New Jersey. He said that half of his base was sent to Korea where many died, but he was sent to Europe where he had fun, his words. There he met some famous photographers like Robert Kappa and ended up joining Magnum Photos, the collective started by Kappa and his peers. Erwitt earned a very good living from his commercial photography, and sometimes it crossed over with his art. This image was taken for the French Office of Tourism, an advertising client, but now hangs in museums. He said, quote, If photographers are excessively serious, it is because photography is too easy an exercise. It's a way of giving it a little gravitas. Photography is not like aeronautics. Images can be made effortlessly and without training. Be careful, I didn't say good images, but it's worth making really bad ones because they can become fashionable. Erwitt passed today at the age of 95.